I'm Charisse and um, I'm the drummer for um, Brian Ferry and the song I'm going to talk about is um, Lady Tron from Roxy Music's first album. Yeah, the song is really very interesting, you know, it's got a very distinctive um, instrumentation and there's a very like weird kind of oboe solo, you know, in there and actually the the beginning of the song is, is actually very, very strange because Brian Eno was in Roxy Music and, um, and yeah, Brian Eno was sort of famous for making very weird synthy type sounds. And yeah, Brian Ferry said to him, you know, can you make something that's kind of reminiscent of like the lunar landing? So he's done this kind of weird, spacey kind of sound which kind of starts the track off, which is really, yeah, very bizarre, but you know, works really well. And then Brian sort of comes in with the piano and the melody. But it's very, yeah, it's a very weird mixture of, you know, of genres, and um, it's really fun to play live, you know, because you know it starts off, and it's, you know, it's, you know, the drums come in, it's very groovy, very groove orientated. Then it goes into this sort of fast tom tom pattern on the floor tom. Funnily enough, this song is actually one of the hardest songs to play in the whole set, <laughs> I would say, because of this crazy um, 16 sort of uh, floor tom pattern. And the challenge for me is, uh, right at the end of the song, and the fast 16 you know, tom pattern goes on for quite a while. So it's basically keeping up, you know, keeping up the energy and you know, not getting tired, you know, because you know, it's very, it's, it's this, <laughs> for two minutes, three minutes, you know. And also, you know, going around the toms as well and doing some tom fills, some cymbals and stuff. So it, it's quite a lot of, um, it's quite, yeah, I find it quite challenging, you know, to do <laughs> on tour. So that's, yeah, this, yeah, that's definitely the most challenging part of, yeah, a lot of this song to play. Try and I guess use the best technique you've got and try and make sure that, you know that when you're playing the 16s on the floor tom to kind of keep as relaxed as possible and you know sort of play off the drum you know use yeah sort of yeah use good technique basically because <laughs> if you sort of you know do anything you know wrong you know you'll tie your you know wrists and your hand out you've got to make sure to kind of keep loose and and light because you're gonna have to do it yeah for quite a while. <laughs> 